All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vion at this hour. Now, the island of Taiwan has cited an uptick in malicious activity in the lead up to its 13th January election. The Taiwan's doomsday scenario includes not just, not just an invasion by the Chinese troops, but also a wave of attacks against its cyber infrastructure. The complete breakdown in critical infrastructure is what a D-Day would look like for Taiwan in the face of a Chinese cyber attack. Now, this is counterintuitive to the expectations of missile attacks and troops breaching Taiwan's beaches. And here's why. Taiwan experiences nearly about 20 to 40 million cyber attacks every single month. The sectors ranging from its powerhouse semiconductor industry to government and defense entities are affected by these attacks. The island's security planners ran simulated worst-case scenarios to prepare for the day Beijing decides to take over. The Taiwanese officials and cyber security experts now say that China will not limit its assault to security forces and defense infrastructure, but it will effectively try to disconnect the Taiwanese island from the rest of the world. Taiwan is an island. All communication with the outside world, with today's technology, still relies mostly on undersea cables. We have been rehearsing the worst case scenario, which is our undersea cables were cut and we lost all internet connection. The cyber attacks have not only targeted Taiwan's government and defense organizations, but also have hit its semiconductor industry. The Taiwanese companies are crucial to the supply of semiconductor chips. Now, semiconductors, remember, are the lifeblood of the global economy at the moment. As such is their importance that one former US official said last year that the US would rather destroy this semiconductor infrastructure than let it fall into the hands of the invading Chinese forces. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.